Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Motivational Monday with, of course, the fabulously around, and yes, it is Monday, I know, sad to say. But anywho, I came on here to just tell you guys my personal Motivational Monday message for all of you, and it is this. You are special, you are worthy, and you are important. And the reason I say that is because I know that oftentimes we don't see ourselves the way others see us. I had a girlfriend of mine call me the other day, and she she was just going through it. Like, she was just going through a lot of emotional stuff, and she was just like, I just don't see myself, you know, Leo, I'm ugly, I'm this, I'm that. And I'm like, wait a minute, girlfriend, no ma'am. No ma'am. You are worthy, honey. You're important. You're beautiful. You're smart. Like, she didn't see the qualities that the, that lie within her she didn't see them because she had gone through like a bad breakup and she just was like oh my god i'm going through it and i just don't know what to do and i think when you are in that kind of mode you don't see yourself as worthy or beautiful or special or important but i'm here to tell you you are worth it you are worthy you are beautiful you are important you matter to someone because if you didn't you would not be here i wouldn't be here you know what i mean we all have a mission. We all have a goal. We all have something that we have to accomplish. No matter how minute or how small it may seem at the time. But we're all here for something. We're not afterthoughts. And, you know, I know a lot of you may be saying, but what about people who, you know, get murdered or who get abused or, or, or what have you? And to that, this is my answer. I think for people that those circumstances fall on, I honestly feel that, you know, it's it's a way of us waking, up, you know, waking up to things, acknowledging things, knowing things. Like, you know, for instance, we wouldn't know about anorexia nervosa if it hadn't been for Karen Carpenter. We wouldn't know about, um, I'm trying to think, we wouldn't know about suicide, really, and how it affects us if it hadn't been for Robin Williams. We wouldn't know about medical malpractice if it hadn't been for someone like John Rivers. I mean, and granted, we know about those things, but what I'm saying is because of their deaths, you know, and it's unfortunate that they all had to pass, but because of their deaths, we have more of a light. A light is, shot, is shown on them, you know what I mean? Like, we now know prevention and what to do and what not to do, and it's up to us to either get the help we need or to allow things to, you know, work on us. And that's why I'm here to tell you that, look, you may, I don't care what you're going through. You may be going through it right now. You may not even listen to what I have to say, but I just want to let you know, like, you are beautiful. You are important. You are worthy. You're worth it. You're special. You're not just a minute afterthought. You're not just some guy or some girl or, you know, a mother or a father or, you know, a, I mean, you're, you're so much more than what you think you are. And you have so many talents, so many um, attributes that people love, that people need, you know, and don't get me wrong. Do I get down on myself? Of course I do. Yes, I say that I am the fabulous Leo Brown, and honey, I am fabulous, but I have my moments where I am down on myself, where I don't like me, where I'm like, you know what, I'm full of shit, you know, where I feel like, you know, my God, I, what do I do? You know, I don't really help people. I don't empower people. But then I hear from people who tell me that, like, Leo, you do help me. You do empower me. You do allow me to keep going and growing another day. And what people don't realize is that when people tell me that, that helps me to keep going and keep growing and keep doing what I'm here to do. And so I'm here to tell you, this is my message to you, to all of you, that you are worthy, you are important, you're worth it. You're not just someone or something. You're not, you're here for a reason. And it's up to you to find your purpose, to find your passion. And I know it's in there. It's in you, you know, but you have to be the one to find it. And yes, you may need some help. Yes, you may need some encouragement, but that's why you have people like me. That's why you have people like Yala Von Zunt, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, I mean, you know, Deepak Chopra. That's why you have your neighbor, your grandmother, your mother, your aunt, your cousin, your best friend. That's why you have those people because they show you like, look, you know, you're not the only one that's going through it. They allow you to relate, but also they allow you to see like, look, we're in this together. It's not just you against the world, even though it may feel that way. But trust me, honey, you are not, and I repeat, you are not 
alone. You're not in this by yourself. And like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, before I get out of here, I just had to say this and come on here and, and give this message to all of you because it was on my heart to say, okay? You are worthy. You are important. You are special. And most of all, you are beautiful. Remember that always. I love you all so much. Have a wonderful Monday, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye.